Now, the day after, the managing director of the dairy, dairy? Dairy, dairy. The managing director of the dairy. And I had, at the time, never seen a managing director in my life. I was working. You understand? So I was called up to his office. He was sitting on a huge desk, and I was sitting on the opposite side. He said, Rio, I hear that you are down in, in the basement of the cheese and worked like hell yesterday. I said, yes, I did. He said, yes, I heard, I got to be have checked it out. The insurance had been here. They had counted all the cheeses, and they had decided that you were gonna get a thousand kroner, which was actually, in those terms that day, five weeks pay. Five weeks pay. And I worked three quarters of an hour. <laughs> and I said, oh, thank you very much. I was very happy. I was newly wed at the time. I needed the money badly. I was very happy. And one week later, I was handed over a check for 1,000 kroner, you know? More than one month pay. And I can tell you, the other three guys that was looking and laughing at the time, they were not laughing anymore. <laughs> They were envying me the thousand kroner. They said, why didn't we do the same? But you see, they didn't know this law. You do what you're paid to do and some extra. I did it without even thinking about any reward. And some extra. You see, if you are not, in American or English, it's called going the extra mile. You heard that expression? If you are prepared to go the extra mile, you be prepared for the salary in the end of the rainbow. Because wherever you work, the people will recognize you and promote you. And if your boss will not promote you, his competitors will. Don't worry about it. You can never go wrong. Because what you have done actually, you have increased your value. And let me tell you something very important to understand also, if you want to make money. You are never paid. You are never paid today. You will never pay tomorrow more than how easy it is to replace you. If you are easy to replace, you can't expect much work, much money. Because you know, a sweeper, a street sweeper, can he expect a lot of money? He cannot expect a lot of money because it's very easy to replace him. You can do it that quick. You can just pick another one, isn't it? But somebody who's made himself so good in a company that the boss cannot afford to lose him, he will always get an increase in salary because the boss wants to keep him there because he's doing a good job. So don't ever get scared of doing more than you're paid to do because you will always, always get the money back many, many times. Take the responsibility and that has to do with your habits. You see, this is a habit. It's a good habit. And it's a bad habit to do the opposite. That means if you're only working and doing little less than you're paid to do, there is no way that you will ever get success in life. And if you have your own company, like me, and many with me, the only way to the customers that are gonna get back to you is because you do, you give them more service than they expect. If you always under promise and over deliver, then you can expect more customers to pay for your services. That's the name of the game. So let me just make it clear to you, if you take responsibility and do these things, you will succeed. Now, there's, there's an I here, and uh, I think that I is important to understand. And if you can get that into your head, really, the strength which is behind that I here, you will understand that it is easy to be successful. The only thing you have to do is to use, in fact, the same word as, you know, Obama, the American president. He said, yes, we can. I will ask you to always, if anybody asks if you can, say to them, yes, I can. And I will. Because you see, if anybody asks you if you can do it, you say, yes, I can. You would just tell them that even if you can't. Because you see, very soon you will be able to do it. If you say, yes, I can, many times, you will learn enough to be able to do it in the process. And that's why it's important to say, yes, I can. Take on the job. 
take on responsibility and grow with responsibility. That's the way you become great, even if you're not. And what is going to happen if you say that I am great and you feel you are not? What's going to happen, you think? Pardon? You, yeah, you, you feel great? Yeah, absolutely. But you see, I, all, I, I, normally, I normally don't tell people that they should start lying. But in this case, I'll give an exception. I will ask you to start lying. If you don't think you are great, start lying about it. <laughs> lying about it. Tell everybody, I'm great. I'm fantastic. You know what I'm doing? If people tell me, how are you? You know the English saying, how are you? Fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, that's the most stupid thing I ever heard here. Because the English have told us to say, how are you? And what do you what do you say? Fine, thank you. How are you? And nobody even hears it. It's bullshit. Nobody means anything that you say it. Everybody says it, so why can't I say it? I don't say those things. If anybody asks me how are you, you know what I say? I'm looking them in the eye and say, fantastic! And getting better. <laughs> we have I have built several schools in Africa, in Uganda. And you know, even in the nursery schools there, the small kids, if you poke your head in and ask, how are you children? You know what they will say? They will look at you and they will not say what every other school in Africa is saying. I think you should, how are you? No. <laughs> they will say, fantastic! And they will do it like this with the thumbs. Thumbs up. Fantastic! And you see, they might lie, they might not. But it's better to lie if you don't feel good. Lie, lie, and lie. Because you see, we, if you lie consciously, you know, I don't know if you know the difference between your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. But your subconscious mind is the one that runs your life. Your conscious mind is a skeptical one that has to sort out everything before it gets down to the subconscious. But if you tell yourself, I'm great, that's why I'm doing this in the, in the mirror in the, every morning. You know, I did it for some time until I really believed it. And nobody will ever ask me a question and I say, oh, I don't feel good today, I feel bad, I'm, I'm, I'm not great. No way. I don't accept it. Really. You see, if you have that attitude of gratitude and being happy for whatever you are, you are going to grow and become better. Because you look at the bright side of life, you will then be optimist and believe you can. And if you say, I can, and I will. You see, I have taken on assignments that I knew I could not do. But then again, if I had said yes, because of my integrity, I better learn how to do it. So I was studying and studying and studying until I could do it. So you grow into whatever you promise yourself to do. So promise yourself to be great. Promise yourself to be fantastic. Promise yourself that you can do it. And you will. Because you see, if you say to yourself, I don't think I can, you will not even start on the journey. But if you think you can, you will at least be there walking along the right way to success. You better say, I can. And I will. No, never. People who say, let me, let me, I have to make it. Can you please come here? Yeah, it's, 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 